Good day, Pirate Brethren. Just a nice, easy, relaxing video today, and I have some nice, easy, relaxing footage for you from Skull and Bones. Um, I don't know about you guys, but this game has its moments of pure beauty, like when you catch a sunrise coming off the eastern horizon or a sunset off the west, and it just looks goddamn glorious. Um, anyway, yeah, I just wanted to talk about a few things today. I want to talk about reactions to the stream that we had a couple of days ago and how people are feeling about it. And then I also just wanted to throw in just some of the Ubisoft news because there's a lot going on with Ubisoft right now. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about Skull and Bones first, though, because uh, that's what you're all here for. So a lot of people have reacted, I'd say, mixed to the information we got on the stream a couple of days ago. A few people are excited for Season 2. A few people are quite heavily disappointed in what was revealed for season two and people are disappointed i think for a couple of reasons some i think are very disappointed in the fact that they are resetting pieces of eight at least to a point and the helm upgrades um and other people are disappointed by the fact that we're not getting a map expansion and that we seem to be only getting one new ship i would just say and i understand that if that's how you feel i would just say this just remember they they explicitly said that we're not we haven't been shown everything yet, but there is more coming in part in uh, in season two, and we will be getting a proper reveal trailer, um, hopefully in the next week or so. Um, they didn't talk about the new sea monster that's coming, which I believe is the Megalodon. They didn't talk about um, what any of the seasonal events are going to look like. So there's still a lot more information we don't know. So don't feel too disappointed just yet. Um, yeah, there's a lot of new people who have been joining the game. I've been getting lots of comments on my channel from people who have just recently picked up the game um, because it's on sale right now for 50% off, I believe. First and foremost, welcome to the Indian Ocean. Um, I'm glad that most of you are enjoying it. Um, yeah. Also, getting a lot of comparisons recently. A few people, I guess, PlayStation people that have just got Sea of Thieves, like Sea of Thieves is better. Hey, I don't disagree that Sea of Thieves is a fantastic game. I played that game for day one. I have several hundred hours in it. Um, but I just want to also say that Sea of Thieves and Skull and Bones are two completely different games. The only thing they share in common is the pirate theme. And let's not forget that Sea of Thieves right now represents a six-year-old mature version of Sea of Thieves. It did not look like it looks today six years ago. I can promise you that when I played it on my base Xbox One VCR. Um, anyway... That being said, I overall just want to give my thoughts and impressions. I overall, I'm actually pretty happy with what with what has been revealed for season two. It looks like they're continuing to prioritize gameplay experience over just trying to throw out new systems and new assets overall. I feel like if they were just constantly throwing new stuff out and not fixing stuff or balancing stuff along the way, the game would start to deteriorate quickly. So the fact that they are introducing new things, although in a staged manner, so with fleet management coming in with only one kind of primary purpose before they try and give it seven purposes, I think is actually very smart. And I said that yesterday, and I stand by that. Um, so overall, I think season two will be a very different experience from season one. And that is why I'm excited. If I was looking at getting exactly the same experience over again, I will be less enthusiastic about it. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyway, switching over for just a moment. Um, there was quite a lot of things happening with Ubisoft yesterday. We got their um, their uh, quarterly investors report about what's coming up in terms of schedule. And we got some bad news. Um, the Division Heartland has officially been cancelled. And... This is a game that I have been tracking for a, quite a while because I am a Division 2 player, and I was looking forward to it. I'm not huge on like the extraction shooter genre, but I was curious about this because I do like the Division, I do like the Dark Zone, I do like the setting, and I do feel genuinely bad for anyone at Red Storm Entertainment that was working on this game. It must be absolutely gutting to be this far along in a project to have it pulled out from under your feet. Um, so, yeah, I really do feel bad for those guys. But hopefully um, the Division you know, Division 2 has got more updates coming and uh, there's an expansion plan for some point next year. And a Division 3 should be starting development at some point this year after Star Wars Outlaws releases. Um, we also have X Defiant launching um, in less than a week. Um, I am not um, into those type of games. It could be the fact that I'm just too old to be good at them. Um, but... 
yeah, X Defiant is, if you don't know, it's like a free-to-play first-person shooter game that has a number of different online modes. I played one of the betas, and I did. I thought it was all right, but my lack of experience in that genre doesn't mean much. Um, also, we got the official um, reveal cinematic trailer for Assassin's Creed Shadows, and let's just say the reaction online to that has been rather amusing. I personally am looking forward to it. I love Assassin's Creed. I think it's a great series. Um I think the characters they've chosen for the story are both intriguing and interesting. So, yeah, I really can't wait to see what they do with this setting and what they do with these characters. And then last but not least, um, I just picked up Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Um, I picked this up because it was Mother's Day and my wife wanted a new game to play and it was on sale. And you know what? I am absolutely blown away by how good this game actually looks. Now, this is made by Massive Entertainment, the guys behind Division 2, using their Snowdrop engine, and it just it is the best-looking game I have ever played on a console. Yes, I'm a console player. I know PCs will always be better, but I work on a PC. I don't want a game on a PC. Please accept that as my choice. But this game on my Xbox Series X and on my Series S it's just phenomenal. Like the world that they built here is just absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. Um, I have yet to play much of the game. I know that people have compared this to just being a reskinned Far Cry, but I can just say right now, just right off the bat, having played all of the mainline Far Cry entries, this is this doesn't feel like Far Cry to me after a couple of hours, um, and it certainly doesn't look like Far Cry. I think if the Snowdrop engine is capable of doing this, then I think the, it, it it is time for Ubisoft to retire the Dunia engine, which they've used for Far Cry for over 20 years at this point. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, just switching back, um, talking about Ubisoft games, it's obvious, you know, I am obviously a big fan of Ubisoft's formula. I know a lot of people have, you know, they call it Ubislop and they say that these games, they only make the same type of games. Well, you know what? I like the type of games Ubisoft make. I love exploring their open worlds. I love the fact that I can actually just pick an objective on the map and take part in it without having to, you know, be forced down a narrative structure that I don't want to in one particular play session. Um, yeah, I am a genuine Ubisoft fanboy. Please feel free to hold it against me. But I know why you're here, and I can promise Skull and Bones will remain the primary focus of my channel going forward. But as I play other Ubisoft games, I will be uh, including footage and comments and things like that going forward. So if you like the sound of that, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. And yeah, any comments, shares or all that stuff, greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.